Introduction to Hypothesis. So let's consider a scenario where a marketing manager must decide whether to launch a new product or not. So on analysis, the manager could arrive at the following decision. The product will be launched if the company gets a market share of 15% or more, or the product will not be launched if the company gets a market share of less than 15%. So businesses analyze data to make optimal decisions in order to maximize profit and minimum risk. And so predictions of these outcomes depend on the acceptance or rejection of a hypothesis. So what is a hypothesis? Well, a hypothesis literally means an assumption. An assumption is a subjective term. But really, a hypothesis is an assertion or statement about the state of nature and the true value of an unknown population parameter. So let's go into an example to make sure that makes sense, right? So let's consider the following statements. Eating more vegetables leads to weight loss, and brushing teeth every day reduces cavities. Now, assuming these statements have no supporting data, they're considered hypotheses. And a hypothesis needs data, it needs analysis to be validated. We never know if eating more vegetables leads to weight loss for every single individual on the planet. But if we had enough data from a sample and built models to predict, we would have at least an understanding and a reflection of whether our hypothesis tends to hold true in the majority of cases. Now in statistics, most hypotheses are written as if-then statements. So if I eat more vegetables, then I will lose weight faster. So if we go back and say eating more vegetables leads to weight loss, the independent variable is eating more vegetables. And if that holds true, if it's a linear relationship, then the more vegetables that I eat, the independent variable will affect, will cause, or that vegetables will cause me to lose weight. And that's the effect, the weight loss. So the amount of weight I lose is affected by the amount of vegetables that I eat.